In this video, we're going to use the XML Asserter tool to validate a particular element in your response message. For example, I have a test here called search item by title. When I run this test, I ran four different request messages and I got four different response messages. If I take a look at the response message, I can see it gives me information about a particular book and it also gives me the price of each of these books. Now, for example, if I just want to validate the price element and if my price has to be below a certain value, for example, less than 50, I can use the XML asserter to create that validation and make sure that all the tests that are passing have a price that's below 50. And if any response comes back with a price that's greater than 50, it gets flagged as a failure. So let's set that up. The first thing we're going to do is chain the XML asserter tool to search item by title add output and to the response we're going to change the xml asserter if your response is coming back in json format you can also use the json asserter it has the same functionality except it's for json okay so let's go ahead and add a validation on the price element and you have different options for validation you can use numeric assertion which is the one we are going to be using string comparison assertion you can have a regular expression assertion you can also have structural assertion to validate if a certain element has a child or if a certain element occurs or has content you can use the compound assertion to do more complicated validations for example if you want to validate the postal code based on which country you choose you can do that for example if country is canada then postal code must be six characters. You can use the conditional assertion to set that validation up. In our case, we're going to be using the numeric assertion to add a validation on price. I'm going to select next, and you can choose price from the XML tree and hit finish. I'm just going to name this price assertion. And over here, you can choose how you want to validate it. Either you can set it to a particular value or in my case, I'm going to give it a range. So I'm going to say it has to be less than 50. Okay. So now when I run my test again, it's going to validate price and make sure that any price value is less than 50. And if it's not, it's going to mark it as a failure. Okay. So you can see three or four tests succeeded. And over here, you can see for one of the requests, the value of price was 105 which in our case got flagged as a failure because we set the validation as less than 50. Let's go into that traffic and actually see that price. So you can see here price was 105.75 and this got marked as a failure because it failed our validation. And that's how you can use the XML asserter to validate a particular element in your response.